Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to use Almay Backupper to make a backup image file of your operating system and then restore it later when you decide you want to restore to a previous point in time. Okay, so let's open Almay Backupper, obviously. That's the first step. And then once that's open, you can basically click New Backup in the home screen or go to backup here and you will see a system backup option now you're gonna click on that and then here shows all your partitions on your C drive normally if you open Windows Explorer you'll only see local disk C that's the one with the drive letter but here it actually shows all your system disks system partitions on your local disk these two are hidden because they don't have drive letters and you can't see them normally. If you only do partition backup, you are only backing up this, which is not enough for restoring your system later. So I'm gonna back it up to... Okay, so now select the disk that you wanna back up to. I'm just gonna use this empty drive that I inserted. For the sake of time, I will not bore you guys with all the menu details about all the options that exist in these menus over here but i will tell you guys about several important ones that you may want to check and tweak so over here in the backup mode section you will see two options intelligent sector backup and make an exact backup what intelligent sector does is basically it only backs up the used space on your disk instead of the total space including the empty space into the image file. Next is the level of compression you want to use for the task. For lower levels of compression it's obviously going to be faster to restore and backup and for higher levels of compression it's going to be slower. But if you are running low on storage, high compression is recommended as the file size will be smallest and if you have ample storage space then go ahead and select no compression or normal compression if you are deploying this solution long term a section that you want to check out is the schedule backup section here you can schedule your backup either daily monthly weekly or using event triggers so you can set it to backup on say the fifth of every month or the Saturday of every week, or so on and so forth. And over in the backup scheme portion of this menu, you can see a backup method option. This is basically also concerning your storage space allowance. Full backup just means, well, a backup of everything, every time that you run the task. And incremental backup basically tracks all your changed data from a backup to another and only backs up those changed files every time so if a previous incremental backup is deleted the next incremental backup will not work and differential backup is basically similar to incremental backup except that it is resilient to deletions of previous backups finally if space saving is priority to you the automatic backup cleanup feature will help you delete old and out of date backups and after that all you have to do is click OK and then go down to add the schedule and backup now so start right away and then as always all you gotta do here is wait Okay, so now it says backup completely successfully. And it's recommending for us to create a recovery environment. That is actually the next step that we are going to take. So in case of a system crash or a system failure, we want to be able to restore the image file to your system disk using Alme or use Microsoft Restore Service if you chose VSS earlier. So we're just going to click create now or we can exit out of this message and then go to tools and then recovery environment over here so after entering into this menu we want to tick this checkbox 
enable the boot option of Envoy Backupper on the blue screen that's showing here. And then we can adjust this time to be whatever you want, whatever you think is enough. So I'm just going to leave as 6 seconds. Okay, so after you click OK, it will tell you that it succeeded in creating a recovery environment. And now you can exit out of the Envoy Backupper. And for the sake of it, let's restart the system to simulate a crash slash blue screen. So after it restarts, it will go into the choose the operating system blue screen that you saw recovery environment page earlier in Alme Backer. Don't worry, you are not entering into Windows 11 directly right now. You are being taken to the page. See this? Now click enter into Alme Backer before the 6 second timer expires. Okay, as you can see, Alma Backup is up now. And we can all we can use all the interface features just like if we are in Windows. Only this one's a little slow. I don't know if you guys can tell, but this one's much slower and less performance. But it does what we need it to do. So we click restore and then select the image file that we backed up earlier. It's gonna be a dot ADI file. Just click on that. And then it will show you all the partitions that you backed up. Your C drive and the two partitions without drive letters. So after we select the partitions that we want to restore, click next. And then oh, will do a sanity check. So we want to restore these three source partitions into these three of my system partitions that are currently in the local drive right now. And here it says Universal Restore. If you did a backup on different hardware than what you are using now, it is recommended that you take this box. For example, if you changed out your graphics card and all of a sudden your OS won't boot anymore, and you create a, a backup earlier, backup image earlier, you can take this option and it will do everything for you. Make sure it's compatible and stuff. And after you've done that, click Start Restore. And again, all you gotta do here is wait. Okay, once the operation is completed, you can click Finish and it will briefly reload the disks that I need. All you need to do right now is quit the application and start Windows as normal. And all your original system folders and files will all be there. If the blue screen still shows, click Windows 11 instead of the second option. So now, unlock your computer and enter your password. Your password should be the same. And it will take slightly longer for it to load compared to when you last had your system backup because it is new data that the operating system has to process before it can launch. Okay, as you can see, I got my system back. It's the same system. Same nothing on the desktop. Same something in the recycle bin. And then, let's see. Yeah, same nothing in downloads, in documents, in pictures. Just to make sure there's nothing. Yeah, there's nothing. Music, there's nothing. Videos, there's nothing. And then OneDrive Personal is still my account. As you can see, we are still reaching the same storage space allowance as the previous OS, as the previous store point, which is we're using like 25 gigabytes and sparing 230 gigabytes of it. So yeah, with that, this venture is successful and this video is over.
Thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys liked it. If you did, please give a like and consider subscribing for more content like this. I'll see you in the next one.